All you need to do is one more. One more step. One more rep. One more day. Just one more. When we make it through that, we can do one more. The hardest thing to do is get started. But if you can take that first step and get started, all we need to do is one more step. One step at a time, we will move closer and closer to success. But standing still will accomplish nothing. Standing still will be the end of your journey. Just give one more, just one more. Once you do it, you will see it wasn't that hard and you can do another step and another and another until we are running full pace. Now we are making progress. Now we are running toward our dream. Now we can succeed. But it all started with one step, one small step. Just get going. Get out of the house. Get out of the bed. Get off the computer. Just get up. Just get going. Just move forward. Stop procrastinating and putting it off. Sometimes the best way to do something is rip the band-aid off quickly, jump in the deep end, or just do it. Whichever way you look at it, know this. You will never be great if you can never get going. I am not born to be great. I'm not the chosen one. I am not smart. I am not successful. I am not the best. I am not gifted. I am not intelligent. I am not fit. Who am I to be an artist? Who am I to be a scientist? Who am I to be a basketball player or a CEO or a billionaire? People are not born to be anything. That's the point. The great thing in life is that you get to choose what you want to be. No one else should determine what you want to become. Through life, you get told that you are not good enough. This isn't for you. You get told you're not smart enough, so you accept your role in life. The problem is that you become something others want you to be, not what you want to be. This is the easier path, just to fit in. It's much more difficult to tell the world who you truly are. It can free you. You can't let anybody lay your path for you. You must set your own path. You are going to be what you choose to be. You will make yourself the things that you want to be. You will show the world who you are. Be the discipline in your life. The discipline that allows you to push for change. Your power is strong, strong enough to carry itself through. Push your strength further and start writing your next chapter, the chapter where you no longer need validation from others, no longer need to follow the crowd, no longer need to follow the directions you didn't write. Discipline is your superpower to success, the superpower that'll put you in your future. Only you can control your life. Only you choose how it begins. Don't let the noise be ignored. Don't let your future be tossed away, all right? Because right now can be the start of the journey you always wish you could be on. You're in control. Be creative and write the next chapter. Write your own rules. This is the opportunity for you to take control. You have the potential to be so much more. You have the power to change into the strength you've constructed. One change each day could be the making of your success, the making of your future. Don't allow yourself to be stuck in your own mind. Don't let your success, your progress, be halted by your limits. Limits you can smash down, smash down with your potential. Be considerate of your progress. Let your confidence take direction. Let your optimism take control. Let your authority stand in front. Take down your boundaries and let yourself be free to succeed. 
Your control is the push you can take for you to stand out, for you to start writing different directions, different rules. Because if you don't write them, someone else is. Someone else is going to write them for you. Rules that allow you to push towards a new beginning, push towards a new purpose, a purpose that pulls you to change. And also, let this change be positive. Let this change stop you from being stuck, stuck in the choices that you've already made, stuck in your past, because right now, honestly, this is the time to start living, living for your power, for you to be in control. Don't hold your power back and don't let your potential be lost. Don't let yourself get lost. Let this take control. Let yourself take control and make the right choice for you. Take the risk for your future, for your future to be something better, because you got it in you. Greatness is already inside of you. Make the choice to figure out exactly what, where it is, and how to pull it out. Opportunities don't wake you up. You have to get yourself up and create them. We are never given anything in life. And to wait would be foolish. If all you do is wait then you will be left waiting in order for the opportunities you have to act action is everything in order for something to happen you must act go and get your dreams sometimes not getting what you want is the starting point of something great you thought you were going to wake up today and have your dreams it doesn't work like that. Life is going to test you. Do you want your dream? You need to ask yourself, do you want your dreams? Habits are what keep you going in life. In low moments, you can rely on your habits to get you through that bad patch. Your habits will get you further than your dreams. It is habits that are the keys to success. What are the habits you need in order to be successful? We are our habits. Bad habits or good? Our habits are our foundations. One good habit can change your whole life. Replacing just a few negative habits can easily be the difference between being successful or not. Build those habits. Hope rises like a phoenix from the ashes of broken dreams. Often it is our darkest, most painful moments that empower you enough to grow stronger and develop into our highest self. I have fallen. I have crashed. I have lost. I have bled. I have broke down. I have crawled. But now I will rise again from the ashes. It is within us all to be great. It is within us all to succeed. Not everyone goes through enough hard times to find out how strong they really are. In the hard times, we find out how strong we are. In the dark times, we find out how bright our light is. In the painful times, we find out how resilient we are. It is when I got knocked down that I learned how to get back up. It was only in my losses that I learned how to become victorious. It was only when I was in the fight that I learned how to fight. It is in these moments where we find our true selves. It is in these moments where our strength of character is revealed to us. From the ashes, I will rise because my greatness is burning within me stronger than ever. Never surrender, never back down. Your life is a battleground, a battleground where you will fight toe to toe with adversity every single day. Life will throw its punches, roll with the punches. Life will knock you down, just don't stay down. Life will push you to the limits, but just push back. Life is a battleground, but it is you who decides whether to fight or whether to back down. What are you going to do? Are you going to fight 
Fight for your dreams. Fight for your life. Fight for the ones who are worth it. Fight for your destiny. Fight for more. Fight for you, for your life, for your purpose. Will you back down? Will you tap out? Will you give in to life? If life knocks you down, stand back up. Success is just standing up one more time. Success is never surrendering. If you never give in, you never lose. The greats before us have no magic. They have nothing special apart from the ability to never quit, never surrender. That's all success is. The sum amount of all your failures, all the failures you overcame. Just never give in. Just never surrender. What is the truth? You have a dream. You know what you want to do but you're not achieving your goals and ambitions. So what is the truth? Are you just getting unlucky? Or are you not working hard enough for long periods of time and dedicating everything to this task? Too often we are looking for an excuse to blame our failures on. We don't even realize we do it. It's fine, you're not the only one who does it. Most people do. We all know a gym teacher who tells you he was going to go pro but got injured or have an uncle who had the same idea as Uber. But you have to be honest with yourself. Are you truly doing everything? I mean everything to achieve it. Everything? No excuses because an injury won't stop LeBron. No excuses. Are you doing everything? Dropping bad friends, not wasting time on social media, not socializing if needed. Avoiding family who hurt your dreams, not escaping, not putting time towards someone else's dream, not straying from the path, not letting others influence your moves, not chasing money, not trying to posture on social media, not hitting the snooze button, not quitting, not giving in. All the above and more. You know your vice. You know the thing you give it to. So if you aren't giving it your all, you have no excuse on why you shouldn't be moving forward because everything is in your control. Everything. Only when you are giving it your everything can you speculate on outside factors. Even then you can attempt to control and manipulate them or shape and change your path. But until you are fully giving it your all, you can't have these perspectives. You can't look outward for failures. You must look inwards for your failures and shortcomings. Ask more of yourself. Are you really committed? Like, are you really giving it your everything? Tell them to keep their parties. Keep the social gatherings. Tell them you don't want to hang out. Tell them you have something better to do. If you are hustling, you know what that peer pressure from friends trying to persuade you to take off and just chill with them or go to the cinema or hit a club feels like. They don't get it. They are usually pissed that you're so committed. They are like the little devil on your shoulder trying to make you sin against yourself. Next time they say you never have a good time, just come out with us. Tell them you are having a good time at succeeding. Next time they say we never see you, tell them because all you see is your goals. Next time they say let loose, Tell them you're holding tightly to your beliefs. Next time they say you're a bad friend, tell them that they are bad friends for trying to drag you off the path and not encourage you. You see, true friends will understand you're on the ground and aiming for the top. A good friend will lead you to your crap, or better yet, they will push you up and offer words of encouragement. They may even be inspired to jump on the journey and join you. Nonetheless, don't listen to the devil on your shoulder trying to sway you. Whether it's friends or the allure of materialistic rubbish, only listen to your calling. 
Truth is hard to take sometimes, but the only people who get mad at the truth are people who are living a lie. So if the truth is pissing you off, then you are living a lie. People don't need to defend the truth. They do, however, need to defend lies and deception. The truth may hurt for a bit, but a lie will hurt you forever. Confucius said, the superior man, even when he is not moving, has a feeling of reverence. And while he speaks not, he has the feeling of truthfulness. We are just the result of our truthfulness to our ideals and thoughts. How honest and truthful we are decides on how close or far we align with the vision we had in our head. Thoughts do become things, but how accurately they become the thing you were actually thinking of is decided on how true you stay. You must be honest with yourself, brutally honest because lying to yourself is what causes your failures and shortcomings. It is what leads to quitting. Telling yourself you're working harder than you are or telling yourself you are giving it your all when you actually aren't will only lead to you quitting when you don't get the results that you would expect from the work you believe you was putting in. That's because you lied. You lie about the work, but the outcome will always be the truth. The result can never be a lie. It is always truth. You can posture and lie on social media about the work you put in, but the real outcome will always be the truth. Because two plus two does not equal 10. Neither does lazy work plus lies equal success. You can't lie your way to the top. You can't lie your way to true success. The truth will always prevail. In school, there was a kid who would always mess about he was the cool kid in the class, so much so that he never got his head down to work and study. He was the most popular in the class, always cracking jokes, but he never did any work, none. I mean, I would look at the guy and he was on the phone, playing games, throwing paper, just about anything but schoolwork. It came to exam time and we were all waiting on results. Everyone gathered around discussing their grades. Everyone did as expected. After all, everyone wants to know what the popular kid got. Straight A's? How? He cheated. He cheated on all the tests. So he lied to himself and he lied to everyone else. He still appeared great from the outside, but the truth was he didn't have the knowledge or the grades. The thing about truth is it will always get you. You will always prevail and lies will rear their ugly heads eventually. One day I was driving down the freeway and I came to a stoplight in Miami. A scruffy guy crosses the road, juggling balls in front of the traffic. Afterwards, he pops his hat off and he goes to the cars asking for cash. So I reach for a dollar. Instantly, when we lock eyes, I recognize him. He quickly snatches the dollar and walks off. He knew who I was, and I knew he was the cool kid from school. See, the truth was he was a clown. That was his truth, and the truth prevailed. You are your truth, whether you like it or not. You cannot lie your way into a different situation or status. It may work in the short term, but eventually the truth will catch up to you. 2 plus 2 does not equal 10, and lazy work plus lies does not equal success. You can't lie your way to success. You must work your way to success. If you know what you want for yourself in life, you must swallow this hard pill. It is going to be hard. It is going to be difficult. You will want to give in at times. You will want to quit. But after all this, it will be worth it. If you can be honest with yourself, you have a chance to do it. But if you are lying to yourself and convincing yourself that this thing can be achieved with less work, achieved without giving it your all, then you are just lying to yourself. You are just wasting your time. You can't lie your way there. 
may be able to convince yourself that you did your best, but when it's all said and done, you will truly know the truth. The truth doesn't cost anything, but a lie can cost you everything. The truth will set you free. How are you gonna make it? How are you gonna make it past your insecurities? Think about that and stop wasting opportunities. Start making opportunities. Empower yourself through your journey. Make it past the finish line. Be better. Have you ever thought about success? Not just imagining, really thought about it long and hard. Close your eyes and imagine reality. Reality but with everything you've ever wanted surrounded by everything you've ever wanted to achieve, believing that you have it, knowing that you have all this. This is how your mindset should always be, to know that you have this potential within you, that this picture isn't so far from reality, that this picture can be executed. Your potential is your power, and this power can strengthen your progress, the progress you need to achieve. You have this, so use this. Without a plan, you're gonna stay right where you are. It's time for you to make a move. Write the rules. Be your own director. Take the power. Know that not all of your successes has to be exposed or flaunted. Be humble. That's even more important than the progress you've made. Use your success for you and only you. Ask yourself a question. What more can you do? Wake up each day striving to be better. Stop waiting for things to improve. How about you make yourself better? So what's your plan? How are you willing to change? What is it that you're going to do to make a difference? Make today different than it was yesterday? What actions are you willing to take? Because these are going to be very, very dependent on your attitude. And with that being said, use that to your advantage. Become what it is you want to be. So write that plan and move. In fact, I want you to run. Go ahead and run towards your goals. Run towards the dreams you want to see come true. Make purposeful decisions. Decisions with meaningful intentions. Take control of your destiny. Make your life worth the time you put in. Your life is worth more than the pain you feel now. The pain you feel working to improve is the power you feel to make it in the future. Remember who's in control. You. Direct your life in the right path. Take your destiny. Look at it face to face. Put your hand out and grasp it. Hold it in your fist. Create it. Paint a picture of your future. A picture where you can see yourself. The future where you can improve. Improve yourself as a person. Improve yourself for your future. Grasp this opportunity. Take this now to make it past your imagination and make this your reality. Use your success to boost your life into the next level. Use your success to make you grow into a more courageous and stronger person. Start making habits. Have an addiction of constantly improving. Have an addiction that analyzes what's good and seeing the things that you gotta change to get ahead in the game. Start to take some action and make these changes. In fact, become these changes. And be honest with yourself and be honest with the journey you're on because let me tell you, it's not gonna be easy. Don't look behind your shoulder. Try not to look on the horizon. Look up now and be present in your life. Own your life. Don't let anyone else live it for you. You have this. You have this under control. Work harder than you ever have. Nothing, nothing comes easy. So what are you going to do? How are you going to change? Your life can be so much more than what you think it is right now. Time is power. You have more, so much more than this. Use this, you have this. Grow and strengthen your potential, strengthen your power.
But what you can do is pick a path and start walking. You have the potential. And let me tell you, you have all the tools. You got every single opportunity that you're going to need. All you got to do is make that first step and follow the plan. Everything might not go according to your plan, but that's okay. That's all part of it. Take that next step because that plan is going to lead you somewhere and that somewhere is towards success. Think about your success like you have it. You will have it. Believe you have it. Then you'll have the chance. You will have the opportunity. Right now is the time to make today happen no matter the circumstances. Because today can define you. Today could be the day you need to be defined into a stronger person. Write your own rules. Make this a life worth the time you put in and be the manager of your own life. Don't have anyone else have to do that for you. Sure, it's good to have other people around, but you need to be the ultimate manager of your life. You need to be the one who is most concerned with where you're going. Become that person that you know you can be. Take this journey and embrace every step of progress that you've made along the way and the ones that are coming still. Think of the plan. Now write your own journey. You are you for one reason, to be yourself, to use the potential you have as a person and make this your future. Use this as your first step into success. Change the way you view life. Switch your perspective of success and use it in the right place. Change your perspective, change your mindset to something always willing to grow, always willing to take courage. Make this who you are and make this worthwhile. This power that you have is valuable because your future is valuable and your potential is valuable. You're more than you could ever imagine, man. Imagine the satisfaction of improving yourself. Make that change yourself. Do it for you. Work so hard, harder than you can imagine. Work so hard you shock yourself. Shock yourself in how hard you've worked. Make your haters envy the ground you walk on. Make them feel like they need to rise to your level rather than you lowering yourself to theirs. This strength, this strength on the inside of you, man, this is what lasts. This is your legacy, the legacy that pushes you into the right direction. And let me tell you, that direction is always going to be forward because forward towards a future with a purpose is one that's constantly achieving and constantly looking to be better. So become the person that you admire. Find out who that is. Become that person. Who is it you admire? Follow them. Watch them. See how they operate. You become what you observe. So start to become that person that you were always meant to be. I'm not saying be someone else. I'm saying find out what about them speaks to something in you. Old ways won't open new doors. How do you think you can change by doing the same thing? Continuing on the same path, taking no risks, no twists, no turns. Nothing's going to change if you're not willing to change. Stop being lazy. Get up and become something. Something more than the familiar route you've been walking for years. You must look within and find it. You must push your limits and put yourself in uncomfortable situations. You must test yourself daily. Tonight when you get home, look in the mirror. Take a long, hard stare. Because the man looking back at you, that's your competition. He's the guy who you need to be better than every single day. He's the guy who you must push past. He's the guy whose high score you're trying to beat. He's the guy you want to defeat day in and day out. Close your eyes and take the risk. Step off the path and walk into the jungle. That's where success roams, waiting to be grasped. Take this as your opportunity to change your life for the better, to enjoy the life you deserve to have the future you've worked for, the future you know you can have. Use this as a tool, a tool to motivate your life through your success. Day by day, we strive to be better. Not as good as tomorrow, but better than yesterday. 
You're not as good as you're going to be tomorrow, but you're better than yesterday. You always need to be better than yesterday. Tomorrow is never guaranteed, and yesterday already happened. So right now, right now is where you do your best. Right now is where you show the world how great you are. Gift the world with your abilities. Gift the world with your hard work. Risk it all for that one true thing you know you should be doing. The thing that gets your heart racing. Just do it. Just do it right now. Drop everything and pursue that one thing you know you should be doing. Because we don't know if tomorrow will come. But we sure as hell know we have this moment right now. And if you're not doing that thing you love, you will never know that life was for you. You'll never feel fulfilled. You will never feel the greatness within. Reach out and touch the hearts of others. Give your gift to others. Share what you have with the world. Stop denying yourself of greatness. You are your biggest enemy. If you spend a day focusing on positivity, the aspects of life you value, changes that you can achieve, spending time and progress will be achieved. If you have an idea, move on that idea. If you have a goal, move on that goal. If you are inspired or motivated, move on that inspiration. Don't stand and watch the world go by. Get out there and take in as much of the world as you can. I will put my body on the line for this. Nothing will get in my way. You must be willing to do the things that others are not. I have a willing mindset. Losing is not in my vocabulary. Impossible is a word I do not use. Impossible is used by people who want you to be just like them, a nobody. Ambition is a powerful tool. It is the thing missing to make your dreams become reality. Ambition transforms your passions from dreams to the real world. Ambition is something that is deep inside. It's something that you need in order to wake up in the morning and be excited. What do you stand for? If you don't know the answer, then you need to find it. What do you stand for? You need to live a life where standing is your only option. Don't live life on your hands and knees just waiting. Stand up. You will be knocked down. There's no denying that. But you get up. You get up and you keep getting back up. And that is what you stand for. You stand for never giving up. Lead your own life for you. Lead your own life to be a better person. Lead your own life full of positivity. Lead your own life to make yourself happy. The chance to change can motivate to become the person you always wanted to be. The person you dreamed you would become. With that attitude, you can change. With that attitude, you can do anything you want to do. I will complete every task that is required in order to succeed. I will destroy my enemy. I will give my everything. I will be remembered for what I did today. I will not give in where so many have. I will define myself as I want to be, not what others think I should be. I will create my own rules. This is my test, no one else's. I have fought for this, and I have bled for this, and that is why I will succeed. Let this opportunity be the guide, the guide to be stronger, the guide that allows you to move away and enables you to look for change. This is the chance you've been handed. This is how your future can fall into place. See every aspect fall around you. Let every aspect define you. Define what will be yours. Use this as a clean slate, one that allows you to be the person you've imagined. This is your opportunity to be better, to look for change. Your work takes time. Hard work takes commitment. Commitment to your future. The future you can design. 
Take the action you see necessary, the action that pushes you to succeed. Take today as a risk, a risk to transform into something new. Switch to become the person you aspire to be, the one you've looked up to, because this can be the first step towards grasping your dream. The next level where new opportunities are now handed to you. The time is now, and this is the time for success. Make your life worth living for you and no one else. Loving what you do isn't enough. You must have ambition. You must not be satisfied. How can you settle when there is more to do? Never be satisfied. You should live your life as if you are a hero in your own story. You get to decide what story you make. Your book is unfinished. There are more pages to be written, new paths to go down, new places to visit, more stories to create. Go out there and don't stop until your book is finished. I'm coming for the top spot. I'm coming for it. They say I won't make it. They say I can't do it. They say I wasn't capable. They said this life wasn't for me. I'm going to show them that what they said was wrong. I seize the prize. It is etched in my mind. I keep my eyes on the prize. Every rep, every spirit, every push and pull, I am thinking about the end result. Every move I make is motivated by the top spot. Every move I make is toward greatness. It is all I want to achieve. When it is raining outside and it is cold and nobody else wants to work out, guess what? I'm working out. When the fields are flooded and nobody wants to train, guess what? I'm training. When I'm feeling down, I train. When I'm injured, I'll train another part of my body. When my body is broken and bruised, I will train the mind. No matter what happens, no matter what the situation I find myself in, I will just keep moving forward. I will keep going no matter what. I will not stop because I know it is worth it. I will keep pushing because I know it is worth it. I will take the pain because I know it is is worth it. I will take the heartache and losses because I know it is worth it. Don't stop now. You have already come this far. You have already endured so much. There is always someone else gunning for your spot. The world is an ambitious place, so your success depends on you outworking everyone else. If you are in the gym shooting, there is always someone else doing one more hour. That is your competition, your counterpart who is putting in more hours than you, the guy who is pushing harder than you, the guy who constantly wakes at 5 a.m. every morning to get the work in. You need an appetite for success. Stop starving yourself of it and develop a taste for winning. I'm hooked on success. I love for that win. The feeling of completing your goals. We have all tasted it. We have all felt success. The pride and satisfaction it gives you. We all know how good it feels, but we still struggle to get it. This is why some of us decide to give up on getting it. But the more you taste success, the more you need. The snowball effect in action, you understand and realize how great it feels to be a winner. So you need to win. You need to win every time you step on the court. You need to win every time you make a business move. You need to win every time you're in the gym. Everything you do, you need to win. It stops being a thing that you do and you just become a winner. Nobody is born to win. We develop it. There is no such thing as a born winner. You will change the world. How small or how big 
is up to you. No matter what you do, you will have an impact on the world. Make it big. As much as we don't like to admit it, we get one life. One. Stop waking up every day and expecting to wake again. It's not promised. This will end. Life is about purpose. If you don't have it, life can be very hard. We all want purpose, a reason to get up in the morning, a reason to live. If you don't have purpose, life can be like reading a map that's always changing without no compass to know which direction you're going. Purpose is what guides you. It gives direction. It gives you meaning. If you can find your purpose, it gives you a sense of invincibility. Really ask yourself, is there anyone out there right now who is outworking you? Is anyone pushing harder than you? If so, you know what to do. We think that some people have this natural competitiveness like Russell Westbrook. He was not born with the relentless attitude. He developed it. He developed it by getting a taste for winning. He developed by having a sour taste of losing in his mouth. If something tastes like crap, you don't want to eat any more of it. If something tastes good, you want more. You crave it. Start craving success more and more by getting a taste for it. Small wins every day will add up over time. They will create an appetite for success. The guy who does an extra set in the gym, the guy doing two-a-days, the guy going back to train because he wants more, the guy who runs two more miles, the guy who picks the pace up when no one is watching, the guy who has ice baths instead of normal ones, the guy who wakes at 4.30 a.m. He exists. He is real. More importantly, he is your competition. You may have talent. But if you are getting outworked daily, they are taking your spot. You need to put yourself up against these people. Don't let yourself lose confidence in your future, in your success. This is the beginning of your power, the start to progress, the progress that guides you towards your independence, the aspect that allows you to develop, step out of the definition of normal and start your own definition, the power to write your own rules. You can't go through life and wait for things to happen to you. You have to create the moments. That way you can direct your life. I can scream it till I'm blue in the face, but it doesn't matter unless you believe it. You are powerful. You can achieve everything you set your sights on. You have the ability, and with hard work, dedication, and consistency, it can all be yours. You can. But do you really believe that? You need to believe that. You see, you can believe in your dreams and they may not come true, but if you believe in you, it will come true. It is not ego, it is confidence. Remember, you're the director in your life. Let this opportunity be the guide, the guide to be stronger, the guide that allows you to move away and enables you to look for change. This is the chance you've been handed. This is how your future can fall into place. See every aspect fall around you. Let every aspect define you, define what will be yours. You have sight, but do you have a vision? Can you see your future? You must be able to see where you are going. How can you arrive somewhere if you don't know your destiny? If you fail to prepare, you must prepare to fail. You cannot wander your way to success. You must plan. You must have direction. You must aim for it. Use this as a clean slate, one that allows you to be the person you've imagined. This is your opportunity to be better, to look for change. Your work takes time. Hard work 
takes commitment. Commitment to your future. The future you can design. Take the action you see necessary. The action that pushes you to succeed. Take today as a risk. A risk to transform into something new. We don't get to choose our time. Your time is short. Time is numbered and yours will be one of those digits. This should get you up in the morning and should make you glad to be alive. Don't waste your time. Don't waste it. You have one shot. Go for the bullseye. It is not ego. It is belief in yourself. Some people may tell you that you have an ego. You are overconfident just because you believe that you can. These people's opinions don't matter. Just because they don't believe in themselves doesn't mean it is wrong for you to believe in yourself. It can allow you to go above and beyond what you think you are capable of. As you find a purpose for life, emotions of fulfillment will overcome you and make it impossible to quit or give in to anything that takes you away from your purpose. Purpose gives you something to stand for. To believe in yourself and have people believe in you is a powerful thing. You are blessed. You just don't know it yet. If you have the ability to dream big, then you can achieve big. But you can never be bigger than you can dream. Learn to dream big. Because you can never be bigger than you can dream. I can see you will be successful, even if you are blind to it. I can see you will achieve your dreams, even if you do not. I can see you are special, even if you don't. I can see your greatness, even when you feel you are in the darkness. It is hard to see your future when you're living in the process, but trust the process and you will end up at your future. It is in the dark when we cannot see that we must have faith and courageously continue to move forward. If we move bravely, we will reach the light. If we choose not to move, we will live in the darkness forever, never knowing how we could shine. Life can seem unfair sometimes. You are told that you should have everything mapped out and know exactly what you want in life. With a fast and ever-changing world, it has become much harder. The truth is, I don't think many people ever find their purpose, but once you find it, you will know. Purpose shouldn't be related to age. Age is just a number. A number has no value on your life. You can find your purpose at any stage in life. Again, once you find it, you will know. I'm calling all the hustlers, all the game changers, the new generation of forward thinkers, everyone out there with an idea and a dream. You are the ones who can change the world. You are the ones who are responsible for pushing us all forward. You have a dream, a dream bigger than anyone knows. I want you to know it is possible. You can have everything you want, all your dreams, all your desires. It is yours for the taking, but you must be willing to put in the work. All the young entrepreneurs out there, you have one thing all of us desire, time. So it is time to use your time wisely. Stop playing video games all day long. Stop watching TV all night. Stop mindlessly scrolling through Instagram. Stop with the YouTube binge sessions. Stop wasting your time on things that are not going to help you get the goals you want. Stop doing things that will not help you toward your dreams. Now is the time to stand up for what you believe in. There is no better time to start working on your dreams than right now. What are you waiting for? Get going now. Let this be the moment you remember. Show yourself as the rocket in your own life. This is the journey you're on. You control the progress you make. You strengthen the path that transforms you into the person you've been waiting to become. The person that allows you to become someone new.
You have the skills to be more, the strength to grow faster, the power to be stronger. The journey you've waited for is here, here for you to be something better. This is the opportunity in front of you. This is your future staring at you, face to face, waiting for the power to be granted to you. Your power is welcome, welcomed by your progress, your progress that guides you towards your future. Be someone you can take pride in. Become someone you know that you can become. This is the journey you have, the journey you're on. Take the first step towards success. Take the first leap of faith into the risks of your life. Push past the limits. Move toward a future you can imagine, a future you've designed. This is your power. You know, the funny thing is that we're told so many lessons throughout our life. Some of those lessons don't make a whole lot of sense. Oftentimes they don't teach us anything, you know? Lessons that tell us our life is out of control. Lessons that tell us the unpredictable nature of decisions or the never-ending change of our social climate. These are the nagging lessons we're told that somehow get embedded in our memory. But you know what, I'll tell you what, if there's one thing to remember, it's that knowledge is power. You can never stop learning. You can never stop moving towards enlightenment. Life changes, life is gonna move, and people are gonna change. But the one thing that you can do right now to improve your life, and the one way to actually make that happen, is to keep on educating yourself. Go read that book you've been waiting on reading. Focus on every single word, and let that meaning seep down into you, because every word you read is pulsing your potential, allowing you to grow, and to strive, and become more than. Every day, look for something new to learn. Look for something else to focus on. For every new thing you learn, that's one more step that you can take towards progress. Every day is a chance to be great, a chance to be better. Now this right here, this is the making of you, the start of the journey, because you can be so much more. This is the beginning of your growth, the start of your progress. Look for something new to change something new to focus on. And then let me tell you what, you're gonna be stronger than you've ever been in your life. Life is about purpose. If you don't have it, life can be very hard. We all want purpose, a reason to get up in the morning, a reason to live. If you don't have purpose, life can be like reading a map that's always changing without no compass to know which direction you're going. Purpose is what guides you. It gives direction. It gives you meaning. If you can find your purpose, it gives you a sense of invincibility. It can allow you to go above and beyond what you think you are capable of. As you find a purpose for life, emotions of fulfillment will overcome you and make it impossible to quit or give in to anything that takes you away from your purpose. Purpose gives you something to stand for. To believe in yourself and have people believe in you is a powerful thing. Life can seem unfair sometimes. You are told that you should have everything mapped out and know exactly what you want in life. With a fast and ever-changing world, it has become much harder. The truth is, I don't think many people ever find their purpose, but once you find it, you will know. Purpose shouldn't be related to age. Age is just a number. A number has no value on your life. You can find your purpose at any stage in life. Again, once you find it, you will know. Live life looking for failure. I know success isn't easy to find. We all know that. Success is worth the idea of progress. Trust that next chapter is worth it. Change your mindset to find failure. Look for mistakes in your life that you can fix before taking the next step of trying to succeed. You won't take a step forward if there are flaws present in your life. Look at what you can change to be and become a better person. 
Look for failure so you can learn. These lessons are so much more valuable for improving yourself. Don't be scared to make honest mistakes. If you can admit what you've done wrong, these mistakes can be easily fixed. These mistakes don't only make you a stronger person. You can grow, grow to be better, thrive to be better. These mistakes will no longer hold you back. In fact, you can now grow, step forward, step forward into success. Make that change. Feel the strength fill you as a person. Fulfill the emptiness you once felt. Feel yourself grow. Don't be afraid to avoid failure. No longer will you be scared to take that next risk, the next step to success. We are the successful ones. We weren't chosen. We weren't given success. We earned it. This is ours, no one else's. You can't take this away from us. Every ounce of my soul was drained out for this, and you think I'm going to walk away without a fight? This is mine. We cannot be stopped. We are the one that got ourselves up after we fell. We do not take no for an answer. We strive for perfection. We go the extra mile. We stay up late to work on our craft. We have the unmovable focus. We are the ones that sacrifice everything. We are unbreakable. Nothing will break us. I can take anything that comes my way. This is my time. This is my moment. I will take the risks. I have not been beaten until I give up and I won't. You can't beat someone who won't give up. We are born for this. There isn't a doubt in my mind that I won't be successful. You can doubt me, but I will never doubt myself. My mind is unbreakable. My body is unbreakable. My spirit is unbreakable. Are you one of us? Become successful. No one wants it more than us. Motivation is a powerful tool, but it needs some added ingredients to help you become successful. Motivation can get you out of bed. It can get you working out. It can get you moving, but it won't keep you going long term. It's like a coffee, but you need something sustainable with it. Your desire to change must be bigger and bolder than your desire to remain the same. You know what motivates you, but what drives you? What is your desire? What is the thing you think of? What is the picture in your head? How big and bold is that picture? You see a big house. You see recognition. You see success. But how much do you believe it will come true? How much detail can you see? Can you feel it? You need to be able to taste it. Your desire is the thing that will pull you. Motivation pushes you. You can't control desire. It's just within. It guides you. Motivation just keeps you on track. Push forward because it's worth it. Use those desires as an internal motivation. Find something that ignites your desire to push forward. When you find what your desire is, you won't stop when you lose motivation because your desire will keep you going in those low moments. Your failures don't define you. It's your determination that defines you. Don't let failure slow down your progress. Remember that nobody recalls the mistakes that you make. The only aspect that changed your life is your success. In order for you to succeed, you're going to have to be determined to become the person you once aspired to be. Be the person who takes the time to improve yourself. Be brave. No one remembers a coward. Bravery takes nothing. 
Bravery leads to nothing but achievement, nothing but ultimate success, something so easily grasped if you know you can grasp it. There is a giant within all of us. You just haven't woken him yet. We are all meant to shine. Humans are the greatest species to ever live, yet we all stay small. I urge you to level up. I urge you to go to that next level. The world is changed by your example, not by your opinion. I see people day after day preaching a message, a message of self-worth, strength and courage. I see them talking and advocating their beliefs, but never have I seen them take action. Nope, not ever. Learn to practice what you preach. I will get up when my enemy knocks me down. I will show no weakness. I will give it everything on the battlefield and leave nothing to chance. There will be many challenges in the way. I will face many opponents, but I will not be stopped. I was not born with natural talents, but my hard work will change that. Non-stop. Work non-stop until it feels natural, until life isn't complete without it. Take action and use your opinion for the better. Use your opinion not just to say to others, I want you to lead by example. Leave your impact further into the ground. I want you to write it clear into the rock. Where your life moves in orbit around the progress you've made, around your success, around your potential. Anything you think you can do, you can. You define your future. Don't let your mistakes move you backwards. I want you to let them move you forward. Let your willingness to move away, to make mistakes, and to use them. Use these mistakes to educate yourself. Use your failure as filler. Imperfection makes us perfect. Use this as a way to strengthen yourself, a way to succeed and to achieve. Make this you. The clock is ticking. Time to move forward and face your mistakes and learn and move away from them. Your determination makes you stronger and more successful. Your determination can help you. It's going to help you move forward, move away from the past and make it towards the future, a future where you can make things happen. Make the negative aspects of your life turn to positive aspects. Now make this your moment, your moment to change your future. The competition you should have is with yourself. Now is the time to become someone you believe in, someone with purpose. Don't stop now. Don't stop until you know you can make it. Stand up to your success. Stand up to your power. This is your opportunity. Take it. Take it like you own it because you do. Your future, your legacy. Your life can transform into the paradise you've always imagined it could be. Your life can change. Your life can be more than just a place. It can be your future, your success. This change, this change takes courage. It takes courage to stand up and break down the aspects of your life that you know is holding you back. Now something you're going to come to realize is what defines us is how well you rise. Because you slip up, you make a mistake. You need to move away from that and rise above it. Rise away from your mistakes. Do your failures, they don't make you a bad person. No, they don't even make you a weak person. Do you know what it makes you? It makes you normal. What makes you above normal is rising past your failures rising away from your past mistakes and rising above normality and becoming a bigger and better person. Make yourself grow. Self-growth, becoming the person you needed to be in order to make it past your fears, moving towards a new and improved future. Take the time to grow. Take out time to work hard. Work harder. Work hard until you can achieve and achieve the things you've always wished you could achieve. When you are at the point of giving it your all, but you are still struggling to succeed. You don't need to try harder. You need to level up. If you are already giving it your all, you need to level up. Let your progress be idolized. Let it speak for itself. 
Let it leave a mark so deep it can never be erased. This den can have such a positive influence on your life that it can transform your future, transform your life using the potential you know you've always had. Now I want you to get up, get on up, get out of your usual slump. And I want you to run towards your goals. The goals that you set in the past that are waiting for you in the future. The future where you have what you have always wanted, where you have the time to make it happen. That future is happening around you right now because you're going to take control of your life. You're going to steal your life in the right direction. You're going to rise up and walk away from the failures you thought defined you because those failures do not define you. You define yourself every time you rise up after a failure. Make your life more than ordinary. Strengthen yourself now to improve the future later. My goals will be achieved. Nothing is more important to me than my goals. They are worth fighting for. I will put my body on the line for this. Nothing will get in my way. Your life can work itself around this. This will become your life. You can always be better. You can always be better than best. It is time to shine. It is time to grow, to prosper. It is time to be bold. Stop living small. Stop hiding. Stop being quiet. Stop being shy. It is time to go boldly. It is time to show the world just how great you can be. You are powerful. You are strong. You are a giant. Stop watching the clock. Instead, do what the clock is doing. Just keep going. When it hurts, just keep going. When you fail, just keep going. And when you fall, just keep going. When you want to give up, just keep going. When your luck is done, just keep going. Don't stop, just keep going. Don't wait, just keep going. No matter what, keep moving. Stopping is for quitters. Make your life worth remembering. Make it worth the pain it took the hours it used, the effort put in. Know to take pride in your work. Know that your life can break all possibilities, break all boundaries, and become something beyond any expectations. If you lose, it's okay as long as you keep going and as long as you keep moving. But if you lose and you stop, then you will fail. You're relentless, you will push, push farther than before, climb higher and climb to heights you've not seen. Because progress is progress. It doesn't matter if you move forward 10% or 0.01% as long as you've moved forward. As long as you do this day in and day out. Because above everything else, consistency is key. You deserve this discipline. You deserve this trust, this pride, and this fulfillment. Let this define you, fill you up, bring you up. Design your life to become something you can thrive in, a place where you can truly succeed, a place more than your life, your future. No one but you. No one but you can make this change. This change from frequent to non-stop. I want you to take control. Don't say that something is going to happen. Take action now. Work now. Set your example now. Strengthen yourself and make yourself stronger. Become the person you need to be. I want you to set your impact now. Write your future out now. The future you need to be better. That's the future I want you to write. That future is gonna be now. Now I want you to stop waiting to set the example. Stop complaining and whining about your future when you can change it right now. Motivate yourself to make your future better. Stop standing still and stop walking backwards. I want you to take it forward. Lean into the future towards a better you. Move past your fears and your insecurities from your old life. Stop putting out the wrong messages and change your mindset. If you want to see a change, that's how you do it. Act the way you would in the future. Act on it. 
to stop waiting. Act on it for your future and act on it to make that change from past to present.